Vapor Canopy means radio waves will be moot too. Giant mode, that's a good question. I'm not, I, I don't have the scientific clout enough to, to answer that with any certainty. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Does radio travel through water? Uh, we're talking about, we're talking about 100% humidity all the time. That's what we're talking about. Under vapor canopy conditions, it's going to be 100% humidity. It might not be raining all the time. It's a matter of fact, it's not going to rain at all. But under vapor canopy, it's a mist that waters the entire world every night. The vapor canopy literally condenses to the ground. What's left in the atmosphere magnifies the heavens. But when the sun comes up, which you can't see under a vapor canopy, daytime begins. Once daytime begins, that, that condensation rises back. Fog rises up, goes back into the sky, and all day long, it is a violet or a purple. It's dark. But you cannot see where the fiery orb is in the sky because the light, the light refraction disallows you to be able to pinpoint its location. The whole sky is bright. So... I mean, the whole sky is lit up, and then it goes back dark again. But when it goes back dark, that's when the stars appear, and they're magnified, and the heavens are magnified. So, vapor canopy, vapor canopy ecology is very different. It's very different. So, I really don't know. Uh, some of these other guys are probably more qualified. Now, somebody who you need to read, uh, I can't remember his name. It starts with a B. He's a, he's a, he's a verifiable doctor. Uh, he's a Christian. But he speaks or he heads the Institute for Creation Research and he writes a lot about the pre-flood world, the vapor canopy, and he gets into the scientific uh, phenomena and the definitions and how things grew to large sizes and, and what the conditions were. He can answer those questions and probably already has because he's been doing this since the 80s. I've read a lot of his material. Uh, Institute for Creation Research, ICR.com, I believe. But it's, it's fantastic. His last name is Bohr or Bear. B-O-H-R. Something like that. Something like that.